Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto Online. Today we're going to be spinning the wheel you guys see on your screen right now to figure out how we're going to make money in this video. Before we spin the wheel, I'm going to say I actually already filmed this video once and I got really bad wheel. Actually, I got decent wheel spins, but it was just an awful video. We started off selling a car, which was $9,000 to Los Santos Customs. Okay. And then we had to sell the blue ice, sell our Coke lockup. I spent $75,000 to fill it up. And then we got the um, the the mail delivery truck, the the post op truck, and it got blown up before I made any delivery. So with buying supplies, I was still negative sixty six thousand dollars. And then I sold another one of my biker businesses. I'm pretty sure the grass farm, and we ended up making like a hundred thousand. But we also filled up, or I think we made almost two hundred thousand. But we also filled up that business as well. So we ended up being in the hole on money like we didn't make any money we literally lost money by filling up biker mc businesses and just not getting good wheel spins so we're going to try to spin the wheel again in this video in the previous video though we did do the very first heist so if we land on the heist on this wheel we're going to be doing the second of the original heists but first we're going to spin the wheel of quick cash whatever we land on right now is the first thing we're going to be doing to make money in this video selling the street dealers not awful not great but now we're going to go over to another wheel, the wheel of making money. We're going to spin this twice unless we get the heist, and then we're only going to spin it one time. What we're going to be doing to make money in this video is sell off acid. In my opinion, the easiest business in the game. One more wheel spin. If we get the heist, we'll have to forfeit that. What we're going to be doing to make money in this video is we're going to spin again. We can't do that again. So what we're going to be doing to make money is selling off our blue ice. I don't know if that's one of the businesses I sold in the previous video. It might be, it might not be, but either way, let's jump straight into the first street dealer. Okay, so we're here at the first street dealer. I also wrote down how much money we have at the beginning of the video so we can tell how much we made in this video. Can I? They're really hard to get them to actually work but we actually cannot sell off street dealers are so annoying you have to be standing in just the right spot we're not going to sell off any blue ice which sucks because this one is du um, double money or any acid because we're going to be selling those wholesale but i'm going to go ahead and go see you guys at the other two of those okay so we're here at the second street dealer we have to find them i assume it's you you look like drake how can i you have to be standing just in the right spot well we can't even sell any more white stuff which and we're out of grass so I guess that's literally it for street dealers unless we want to sell those but let's just jump st straight into the acid lab and we're probably gonna spin the wheel one more time because yeah not looking so hot okay so it's not looking like we're gonna have a very good wheel spin day because you guys see the product line I purchased product already on the phone we're gonna boost the production so maybe next time we can have a full acid lab but we're maybe going to make, with the high demand bonus, maybe 150000 But I think that's probably pushing it. And I'm guessing our blue ice lockup is not much better. But I am in a lobby with 30 people, maxed out. I'm just going to give this rant one more time, like I do every time. The fact that on the PS5 version, they still limit the number of bosses or CEOs you can have in a lobby is annoying. Because it takes me searching lobbies multiple times. Which one is this? Okay, so it's the easiest drop off at least. There's several different ones. There's somewhere you have to go to 10 different spots and throw newspapers. It's easy, but it's annoying. There's another one where you just have to go to five different drop offs and drop it off. Ghost organization for sure. And there's another one, which is this one, which is the easiest one in my opinion. You just have to go to a parking garage, several different parking garages throughout the map. And then once you get to the parking garage, you guys will see what happens. We've done it before on the channel. But this is definitely the easiest of the three. Oh shit. And my asset is named Mutt's Nuts. You get a like a 5% bonus or something. Something honestly not that big of a deal. But we gotta go to the top of this parking garage. It's relatively easy in the grand scope of things. And this is my favorite of the acid missions. That's a weird undercover looking car there. Oh shit. It's another weird undercover looking car there. Hmm. 
Okay. More weird undercover looking cars. You guys get the gist of it. Obviously this is going to be a blown cover. I feel like I've never actually had this location. But you want to make sure you're facing the ramp, which is this way. And then put on a body armor. And then you drop it in this thing. This is where the drop is for the acid. And of course, it's not working out too good for us, is it? And usually I can make it without dying, but sometimes I do die. Whoa, I've never had this specific location before. And then you got to lose the police. You cannot use Lester or the, the blind eye thing from your CEO menu. You have to lose them legit. We are right by the police station, but hopefully we can pull the old hop in the tunnel. It's going to keep going. And then once you successfully... Yeah, it says, guess who got a new buyer? Fuck yeah, freakazoid me. Just lose the cops and I'll drop the location. So, And we'll go to the new buyer. We'll take this time to eat some snacks at least. We are still off the radar for a minute. And then we'll be back on the radar for the rest of the world to see. Relatively easy in the grand scope of things though. Even if we had a full... Like a full, um... Full supplies, or full, um product this one's relatively easy and I feel like they need a rockstar needs to nerf it where every single business is one cell vehicle even if the biker business is even if it's five drops in said vehicle it should all be one vehicle like one plane one trash truck one post ops van one whatever you have but just one it that would really help the MC businesses and the um, The bunker businesses, which we don't have. We're back on the radar in 10 seconds. Not in the best location right by the casino. But luckily there's no one around that's not in said casino. And our drop is very close. There's a police officer right there. We are now visible to the whole world, though. We'll go make this drop, leave the area, and then we should get hopefully 150. That's my hope, is 150 easy money. We either leave the area and then from there I will see you guys at the blue ice lockup. But first let's see how much money we're gonna be making. Honestly, it's just not real good wheel spins. I mean honestly this is a decent wheel spin. I guess I was just unlucky and didn't have full full product. We're gonna steal this conquet up here. Or I guess the banshee will have to do. Get out of the car, fool! How much money are we gonna make? I feel like I've left the area enough by now and hit this person. 135, okay. There's someone's oppressor. Oh, they're robbing that store. Let's see if they're friendly. I'll try to pick them up. Okay, we got there in the Oh, he's not friendly. Okay. I was trying to just exam. I was trying to be nice. Just saying. Yeah, he's on an oppressor. Either way, we got the money. I will see you guys at our Blue Ice Lockup. Okay, so we're here in the Blue Ice Lab, a.k.a. Jesse Let's Cook Lab. And we actually have decent product. We're going to go ahead and hit it with the resupply. And then we're going to sell stock to Blaine County, 290000 I'm guessing we'll get two sell vehicles. So we might not get the full money, but we are in the exact same session. So we'll see. How it goes. I'm hoping for like motorcycles or something. It's sale day. <laughs> I don't have high hopes because this game is stupid. This is these should be abolished. It should be one cell vehicle with one drop off. That's my verdict. We're gonna try it. Like I said I could leave the session and do it. We're gonna spin the wheel one more time either way. But I don't have high hopes, but I'm gonna speed this up. So there's a lot of people around me, and I feel like they're not nice people. Look, when people are having cell missions, I root for them. Sticky bomb my ass, dude. 
I can blow you up, but then I just lose money. It's a lose-lose situation. But I won this one. But yeah, it's a lose-lose situation. And let's just rant really quick. First off, like I said, these need to be one vehicle. But also, they don't give you a fair chance. Like this... I mean, yes, I killed them, but it's not a fair chance if we're being real. The helicopters, you don't have... They disable the missiles when you have the buzzard. When you have the doo-doo seaplanes, literally are defenseless. When you're in the boat, I think you can use your pistol. It's like... The, the biker MC businesses are really set up for failure. If we're being real. And I, I probably lost money for killing that guy. But we'll see what our total amount is when we're done with the video how much we made so but nevertheless let's continue on Okay, so I'm with in my second delivery van. I'm getting attacked by an oppressor. The van's not destroyed, though. I'm sure he's gonna destroy it. Or is it destroyed? Yes, it's destroyed. So, so far I have six of 11. I made five on the first vehicle. I made one on the second vehicle. And now there's one vehicle remaining. I'm honestly surprised I even got six deliveries so far. But I'm gonna attempt to go get in the other one and see if we can get the rest of this delivered. I knew it's like I seen the oppressor pass me. I was like, okay, we're good. And then I seen him turn around and I was like, I paused my video while I was watching. I was like, yeah, this ain't going to last. But now he is flying back to the city. Hopefully he leaves my product alone. And I'm in the position, I don't see many people selling products because when I'm not in a public, like when I don't need to be in a public session, I'm not because Grant the Thought Online is toxic. But when I do see someone selling it, I don't want to kill them. Like I honestly am like cheering them on. Like I'm wishing for them. I'm like, Damn, like, I hope they can do this successfully because it's hard. And the biker MC businesses suck. Like, I honestly wish we didn't put all the money into them. Like, back when we did. I, I bought the MC business because it was double money once. And I was like, oh, yeah. Or not double money. Like, 40% off or something. So I was like, okay, yeah. And I, I think we maybe actually bought it because you got a free MC business with GTA Plus or something. But, yeah, since then... It's like I made some, made a decent amount of money, but it's not, it's just more pain than it's worth, and honestly, like the Acid Lab, I'll sell just in my free time, just to make some money off camera. These businesses, no, absolutely will not. You can make pretty easy money with the street dealers, honestly, that because that's like for sure money, but it's just, it's a pain. But either way, I'm going to get this one and get as many deliveries as I can. Literally right after I ended that, I was writing down to cut and it got destroyed. So we made $200,000. It was the same guy. I hope he's happy with himself. Just because he's out here. He doesn't gain any. That's what bothers me. It's like the player maybe gained some RP. But what level is he? Uh, well, he's 106 actually. He's, I'm high level with him. But it's like you don't well. really gain that much. Like if we're being real. Is it enough to go and ruin somebody else's cell mission? I wouldn't even say no. We're going to spin the wheel one more time. So 
starting the wheel record at right now, which is 39.56. Started at 39.55 wheel spin right now. Okay, so we're going to be spinning the wheel one more time. If we land on a heist, we're not going to do that. I don't care, Dom. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we get. We're spinning the wheel to see how we make money in GTA Online right now. Source or sell cargo from the hangar. I actually don't know how much cargo I have in there, but let's just go ahead and go. I don't think I've ever actually done a sell mission, so I'll see you guys there. Okay, so the hangar isn't something I source cargo for a lot. We actually bought the hangar several videos ago, and I bought the Avenger for the new, like, operations, whatever the new DLC was called, and it sucked. I didn't even post the video. I still have the footage. I did, like, the first two missions on it, and then I stopped because it sucked. So maybe in the future we can make a whole video doing that DLC, but ever since then I kind of just stopped sourcing cargo. Like, my CEO offices are pretty much all full. Can I sit down here, yo? How do I sell cargo? I'm a CEO. Why is it acting all weird? I don't want to find a new session because I'm actually a CEO in this session. This is frustrating. Just let me access my computer. I pay for it. What? I don't know what just happened. Completely bugged out, but nevertheless, we're here at our desktop. I don't know how much money we're going to make. We have 9 of 50, so honestly, not a lot. Our best bet is animal materials, 120,000. Oh, wait, actually, no, 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 cancel. Sell all cargo. In a land, for sure. Hopefully, one vehicle, but I honestly don't really know how these work. I'm not even wearing my headset because I've been recording for like three hours straight. Not on this video. I've been recording this one for 46 minutes. Oh, so I need to get in this land vehicle. Maybe, honestly, an air would have been quicker. And then I have five deliveries. And I guess I'll just be going like bam, 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 bam. Okay, well, at least I feel pretty... I mean, the vehicle sucks, but... And I guess I could go ghost org. How do I get out of this place? I don't feel like that's how I get out. I feel like I'm just going to get stuck. I think this is a newer vehicle that came out in that DLC. How does one get out of here? Actually, I feel like maybe I'm going the right way. But yeah, nevertheless, we still got five drops to make. We're going to speed this up, and I guess I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we just blew up that helicopter. We're almost to the final drop-off. And this honestly wasn't bad. I feel like an air an air cell would have been quicker. I'm gonna get some more speed, I guess. But I've been off-roading a lot, and honestly, it's been pretty decent. We had some helicopters come after us. One I just killed, the other must have crashed or lost me or something. I'm not sure. If I can just get up this hill, we got it. There's another one spotting. And they actually do do quite a bit of damage if you're stationary, so... Not 100% ideal, but... I don't know if we have to leave the area, okay. Can I, get, can I squeeze through? No. That's fine, though. No, I don't know how far you gotta leave the area. It's like this on every mission. Like, you really gotta leave the area. 
Let's. There's that helicopter I blew up. Let's fully leave the area. And hopefully we get paid like 250 with the high demand bonus. 394? Hell yeah. Nice. Okay, so this wasn't our best wheel spins ever, but it definitely was not our worst. We made $814,734, so really not bad, $800,000. And the next update we're going to be covering is the ill-gotten gains. I've been saying that for a while, but I calculated everything up. We need $4.75 million, and we currently are at pretty much 4.1. So if we have another wheel spin like this tomorrow in tomorrow's video, we're going to be able to do the ill-gotten gains in the video after. We're going to end this video with one final wheel spin. Please give me the car. Please give me the car. What are the chances, right? Oh, it is looking very good, but I'm going to be one off. Thank you guys for watching. In the next video, hopefully, we're going to surpass that 4.75 million mark so we can cover the ill-gotten gains part one and two update. Until then, bye-bye.